Pathogens that cause diseases can be spread by air, direct contact, or contaminated food or water. Remember, a pathogen is an organism that causes disease. There's a variety of routes through which pathogens can get into plants or animals, for example, via the air, through direct contact, or contaminated food or water. For the exam, you need to state the ways in which pathogens can be spread, so take note of the information on this slide. Let's start off then by having a look at how pathogens are spread through the air. Many pathogens can spread between organisms via the air, which includes through droplet infection. This diagram shows how bacteria and viruses can spread via droplet infection. This is when an infectious person coughs, sneezes or even breathes, releasing little droplets into the air carrying the pathogen. Plants can be equally infected by bacteria, viruses and fungal spores in the air. So how can we reduce or even prevent the spread of diseases in this fashion? Examples of pathogens spread by air include the common cold and coronavirus. We can reduce the spread of these diseases by social distancing when ill, wearing masks and washing our hands. So when you have an infectious disease, for example the common cold, it's best to stay away from others, but otherwise masks restrict the distance particles spread and limit the chance of them being breathed in by others. Washing your hands also removes any pathogens present and reduces the chance of transmission. So in addition to describing pathogens as capable of spreading by air, we also need to describe the ways in which the spread can be reduced or prevented. For example, limiting contacts, wearing masks, washing our hands, having good ventilation and socially distancing. In addition to being spread through the air, pathogens can also spread through direct contact. But what do we mean by this? Pathogens spread by direct contact include diseases spread by direct contact with the skin and via bodily fluids. Direct contact can be skin to skin through direct sexual contact or maybe via the blood, for example cuts or scratches or needle punctures. Animals can act as vectors carrying the pathogen from infected to uninfected people, for example mosquitoes that carry malaria. These diseases are often spread via sexual contact or via an animal. For the exam, you need to know that these are ways in which pathogens can spread, and you will also come across specific examples which will be discussed in more detail elsewhere in the course. What about pathogens that are spread via food? Food can also carry bacteria that cause diarrhoea and vomiting. Food can be contaminated by many things, including bacteria on fruit and vegetables and in meat. Therefore, before eating them, fruit and vegetables need to be thoroughly washed and meat needs to be cooked through thoroughly. Contaminated water can spread fungal spores, causing plant disease as well as bacteria such as cholera. Water can be contaminated by many things, including animal feces, and these pathogens then make us very ill. For example, the cholera bacterium causes diarrhoea and vomiting. To stop the spread of these diseases, we need access to sewage systems and clean water. This limits people getting in contact with contaminated water and therefore reduces the amount of disease that spread. So then, for the exam, you need to describe pathogens as being spread by air, direct contact and also contaminated food and water. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there.